All right, everybody, we are back. It is Pet Talk Tuesday, and we've got a wonderful little boy to, see, to introduce to you. This little pup, his name's Sting, like a singer. <laughs> yes, he's a rock star. He's only he is a rock star. Old, right? <gasps> yes. Good boy. He was just surrendered to the shelter very recently, a uh, very young girl. I think she was still in high school, so moving ish or something like that. So you have to remember when get, buying a dog, adopting a dog, mm -hmm. You're thinking 13, 14 years ahead, and you really yeah, have right. to think about where you are, where you're going to be, and yep. what your future plans are. So, as you can see, he's simply adorable. He is. He, he is, is very much a puppy, yeah. very playful, very inquisitive, lots of love to give. Um, he's listed as a shepherd pit bull mix. Yeah. I, so, I mean, it's kind of one of those best guess scenarios. Right. He's kind of, a, I call them Heinz 57 dogs, yeah. mutt he dogs. Looks like it. Yeah. We say little dingo, because yes. he kind of looks like that, with the right color yes. in the ears that stay up. He could have been extra in the Lion King. I think, I think yeah. he's, he's still growing into his ears. So. He, is. Yeah. he is. But again, very sweet temperament, very friendly, good for, good with dogs. As any puppy or any young dog, they'll need lots of exercise and right. definitely some training and discipline. Yeah. But you can see he's very eager to be loved. And yeah, and, good boy. Now, Sting. Uh, it comes to us from the Buffalo Animal Shelter, and they're open today, right, Dustin? We're open until 3, and then okay. tomorrow's our late day. We're open until 7. With the adoption, he will be spayed, neutered, microchipped, vaccinated, all that good stuff. And for a little under $200, a deal you can't beat, and you're right. saving a life. Now, Dr. Sue Wailagala, local vet, is with us to talk about that importance of IDing your dog. Well, I mean... Or, or cat. Yeah, both, actually. Right. Um, you know, because I, I had an issue with my cat where an indoor cat snuck out at night was gone for eight days. He oh. was at the time not microchipped. He he is now. So so people forget that you really should have some sort of identification on all of your pets, mm -hmm. even if they're strictly indoors, because you just never know. You and, really never know. You and and, and as, as I'm sure Dustin's really aware, be, being in the shelter situation, all of these animals that it would be wonderful if they could scan every pet and there was a microchip and reunite them with their original owner, but that just doesn't happen. And collars can come off, tags can come off. So although those are a great additional forms of identification, I think anytime we can have a layer of that, so a microchip, a collar, um, and tags, 100%. where it really increases the odds of you getting reunited with your pet. I mean, how tragic would it be if you lost a pet and you're just unable to get reunited with them? I and think it honestly, really makes a difference. Of microchipping, as I see every day, people do not register them right. or you don't change your information. Yeah. So yeah. we call with a disconnected phone number or an oh. address that's vacant and, and it's just... And many of the pets coming from the shelters are already microchipped, but they're registered to the shelter. So you don't, you have to remember to change the registry to you. If you move, change that registry. So and it's important. the only way that you're gonna continue to have, make sure that your pet is reunited with it, with you on the off chance that they do get lost um, without question, the most important thing that you can and do. And you don't have to chip them again. You just have to call the company Correct. that you Correct. registered Correct. with to change your information. Correct. Yes. And, and there are differences in chips, so make sure um, that if you are going somewhere that is doing a, you know, a multiple chip day where they're just implanting chips, make sure the chip is read by a universal scanner. So no matter where you go, if it's a dog warden or a shelter or a veterinary hospital, any scanner that's used will actually pick up that yes. number and be able to reunite you. That's not always the case, um, along with keeping up with that updated information. Dr. Sue, where does the chip go? It, it should go right in between the shoulder blades. Oh. That's the standard area to go. Okay. Um, but sometimes they migrate, migrate, which also does depend on the chip. Hmm. Some are better at not migrating than others. So when we scan, and I think when most places scan, we, we scan over the shoulder blades, but we don't just stop. We right. scan yes. the whole pet because occasionally we found them down in the leg. You know, they've oh. just rotated wow. and moved. So, so you do have to make sure that when you're scanning or when the place is scanning, they scan for every area of the pet, not just where the chip should be because it might have migrated. Yeah, because we love our pets and we don't want to lose them. I don't know if you heard, but we asked people to send in pictures of their pets. We got over 500. Wow. Oh, I love it. That's Facebook. great. You got to go and that's see great. them. They're incredible. Yeah. And a yeah. lot of them were rescues, which was great. Yes, yeah, that. it All really right. is. It, it really is. Great. Dr. Sue, thank you so much. Dustin, thank you. Sting is waiting for someone to <laughs> love him over at the Buffalo Animal Shelter, yes, and they are. are open today. All right. Listen, still to come, we're going to check headlines from the 7 Eyewitness newsroom, so stay with us. Sting. <laughs> <laughs>